Okay guys, so welcome back to another inbox review. This one here is a, a Meng or Ming model, whatever, however it's pronounced. I've, I've heard it pronounced different ways. This one here is the, the D9R Armoured Bulldozer. Uh, I've bought this kit oh, probably <clears throat> about four months ago. It's one of those ones that I'm, I'm just dying to get into and actually build this thing. It's just gorgeous. I've seen some build-ups online and this thing can be done so many different ways. There's a couple of different colour schemes for it. But the, the weathering that you can do on this thing is just insane. Like the, the, you know, you can just go to town on weathering. You can have one that's fairly new, you just dust it up, or you can have one that's just weathered to hell. Because obviously these are used in war zones and things like that, where they would cop a fair bit of a hiding. And there's there's uh, you know like machine guns that you got an option to put a machine gun on the top up here. Uh, there's actually an aftermarket like a cage you can put around this. There's another version you can buy from Ming which has got the cage all around it, like I say, it's all the, the cab and everything's all stuck inside a cage to protect the, the driver in war zones, things like that. But this one here is just a straightforward um, model without the cage on it. I, I'm not going to worry about putting the cage on it, as nice as that actually looks. Uh, it's just not something I'm interested in, I'd rather just build this up. Um, so anyway guys, we'll go through this and have a quick look. Um, as you can see, the box art on this thing is absolutely beautiful. It's a gorgeous looking machine. It's one of those things that's so ugly, it's beautiful, you know, you know I mean, us modellers, we look at things and, you know, only a mother could love face sort of thing, like your hind helicopter and stuff like that, it's so ugly, you just fall in love with it, that, that's just, that's just beautiful. The box art sensational on this thing. Now on the sides of the box here, we've got a few different, um, like, profiles of it in the different colour schemes, I'm just going to try and get this light to shine on that a little bit better for you guys to see that. But gives you the option there in the Israeli green, obviously. Uh, on this side here, we've got our our yellow, like the you can see up here at the top of these the, the blade um, hydraulics and that. That's like a caterpillar yellow. Um, the rest of it's done on like a dull yellow. I'm not sure what colour yellow they call that, but yeah. And the rest of the box art's fairly straightforward, guys. So we'll take the top off and we'll have a look inside and see what goodies we've got in here. And as you can see, this thing is just stuffed to the rim with, with goodies. Um, the first thing we've got here is our instructions, obviously. Um, very, very nice by looking at these. Like you've got all the information on the dozer itself. Uh, a few little cartoon pictures of it there, black and white pen drawings and stuff like that. Uh, call-outs for tools that you might want to use. Uh, you've got your colour call-outs down here. Um, yeah, it's just like hemp, silver, sand, things like that, gunmetal grey that sort of thing, you've got the Vallejo colours there. And then we've got it starting our build-up. Obviously this thing here, I thought actually I thought it would start with the interior, but it's not. It's actually starting where the engine bay is here by look at these instructions up the top here. Uh, got our claws, our hooks down the back, they go together next there. Uh, a little bit of detail, you can see the, the hydraulic hosing and stuff that goes on there as well. And back up on this page, forgive me guys for having to move this around, it's just the, the camera angle that I've got to go on and um, I haven't got a lot of space here where I'm actually modeling. Um, part here we've got our ripper assembly is still going on and you can see our rippers there and you've got the side oh, so supports I guess you'd call those um, and obviously in here you've got like your hydraulic rams and things like that so they're going to have to be painted like in your chrome couples and things like that and it looks like they're actually built so they can be extended and, and retracted as you need them um, for your hooks or your rippers. Uh, then you've got that going on to the back of that first part of the build we had with the, the housing, the main part of the housing. And then we've got, yeah, this is the start of our interior here, guys, all the little bits and pieces. Um, looks very, very detailed. There's quite a bit of detail inside this interior. So, And I have seen this thing built with the, the doors open up so you can look inside, which is something I'd like to do because there's so much detail at tail in there that you'll miss out on if you haven't got the doors open. So yeah, very nice. There's, there's lots of little detail in there. Um, even got our whole suspension system for our seat all built up there as well. All our gear levers and things like that. I'm not sure what's going on here. Um, cab armor assembly. It doesn't sort of tell you exactly what this is, but these are all metal plates on it to go inside there. And this is the uh, the driver housing that all goes together here. You know, each wall is built up separately, obviously, and you, you've got to stick those together. And over the page, okay, so this is where we're starting to 
put more parts on around the housing, started sort of building up the base underneath the housing by the look of this. There's, and again, there's just so much detail, all these little bits and pieces, grab handles and stuff that go on. Now, I know the one that's in the Israeli green colour, uh, the grab handles are all done in reds. So you may want to paint those separately and put those on separately. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's probably the easier way to do it. Um, or if you want to put them on there and hand paint them in red, I mean, that's a little bit more mucking around. But yeah, again, just, just more of the, the cab driver. I mean, there's page after page of just stuff around the cab. I mean, it's just so detailed. There's, there's heaps of stuff going on here. Even up here, continues on. You know, all these little brackets and little hooks and little... You know, it's just so much that so much detail and there's sort of more grab handles up here, you got antenna, antenna bases, um, light housings. So very, very detailed up around the driver's cab. And then we've got our pipelines. So up here we're starting on our pipelines, which obviously they, they go all over the place. We've got jerry can holders here. And here we have our option for our machine gun. So obviously that's an option you can put on there depending on which version you're building sort of thing um, it looks fairly detailed you've got the, you know you've got, there's a couple little separate parts going on it looks like the main machine guns built in one piece i can't see them going together there except for a couple of little, little mechanisms go on there a ammunition bucket on the side uh, and then the cab goes on to the base on this step here and then up here we've got our pipelines getting attached you know like to the hydraulics on the blade and things like that um, quite a bit of work putting the hydraulics on. It's great they've actually supplied the hoses. That's fantastic. You know, something that saves you having to do all that sort of thing. The wheel assembly looks really nice here, guys. There's, there's some nice detail in this. There's actually quite a bit of work just to even getting the wheel assembly together there. There's, you know, like different pieces you've got to put together, like actual runner wheels, idle wheels here, got to be put together. There's 16 of those. You get two main wheels and your sides go together. A couple of little outside parts got to go on as well. It's a very nice um, instruction book, very nicely printed and nice and crisp and clear. Um, got our main sprocket runner on there. That's put together in what four pieces up the top here. Um, then we start on our tracks, and again, this is individual tracks, so you can pose these things with a bit of sag or whatever you want to do with these guys. You can have one broken if you want to do a diorama with a broken track. You can do that because you've got these separate links. And down here we start our light assembly. Now th this shows the sort of detail. This is just putting lights together down this part here. And you see all the parts that go together just to put the light assemblies and light housings together. Up here, external part assembly. So these are exhaust housings and things like that by the look of it. More grab handles, fire extinguisher, grills, things like that. And these look like the yeah, so these are the blade hydraulics down the bottom here. And again, they go together in quite a few pieces. There's a few little bits and pieces, so it looks like some really nice detail is going to be in this kit. And a lot of pages in this instruction book. It's incredible. Some more of the hydraulic housings up here. Different colour call-outs. As you go through the build, obviously, they're going to throw in the different colour call-outs and options and things like that. Then the hydraulic housings go on. And then we've got hydraulic pipelines going on over here. Yeah, just just more bits and pieces. Honestly, guys, I can't name what a lot of thing, these things are, but there's, you see there's so much detail in like all the pieces that go on this to make this up. Then we've got our blade assembly, and even the blade is not like one piece. You can see there's quite a few pieces in there. And it looks like there might be a couple of options there too. In the, oh, no, it's actually just the top, the, the back part of the the top of the blade there and looks like I've got one more page this is huge this instruction book so it shows you how detailed this build is guys it, this is not an overnight job this one's going to take you a while to do so but like I said I've seen this built up beautiful looking machine and up here we've got our push arm assemblies blade assembly on the back here this, the push arms are actually what push your blade in and out and, and angle it and things like that then that goes on to the, the main part of the, the dozer. Um, so yeah, really, really detailed structure. And these, then the rest of it's just all your sprue um, labels and parts and things like that. A little bit of, um, yeah, a little bit of stuff. I think that's, I think that's edge parts on there. It looks like an edge part, but we'll, we'll see when we go through anyway. But obviously there's a few different 
call outs for your decals as well. And the next part here, I have to keep this sideways guys, um, otherwise you're not going to see the full interior. But this one here, this is one colour call out for you, shows you the decals where they go, the colour call outs. Um, as you can see it shows you like your red grab handles that I was talking about before with the Israeli colours. I'll try and do it this way and just slide it through slow so you can see how much colour there is in that. <coughs> On the other side here, this is the one I was saying about with that, that um, ugly yellow colour, I'm not sure what colour that is. Well, that one up there looks like the caterpillar yellow, um, which is a standard caterpillar colour, that, that bright sort of yellow colour. Um, down the bottom here, another Israeli green sort of option that you got there. But that's very nice. I, I love it when they have these things in these colours. And even down the bottom here, with the, the colour call-outs, I've even got those coloured for you. So very, very nice, guys. Okay, as far as goodies in this box, this thing is just stuffed to the top. So there's heaps of parts to start going through here. Uh, got our decals here. Now, they look quite fine. Looks like we've got an instrument panel decal call-out here as well. So rather than paint the instrument panel separately, it looks like you've got a decal to go on there. Um, but they all look nice. I mean, we know the Mang decals are normally pretty well done. Nice and thin. I can see they're really thin. You can't see any raised areas where they are or anything like that. So they look quite nice, guys. Now, as far as the parts here, this is... I won't go through these ones at really a time because it's going to be here forever, but um, just looking at the detail on these things here, it's absolutely beautiful. I'll try and get this to focus up a bit closer. You can see the detail on that, you know, your hatches and things like that. Just beautiful. All your little handles are inbuilt there. Latches and things like that. Just beautiful detail on this thing, guys. I'm not going to try and tell you what parts these are because I have no idea. I've never built these things. If it was a piece of armor, I'd probably know. These look like the side housings, obviously, and your main sprocket runs on there. But again, beautiful bolt. Like, you, you see your bolt heads and things like that. Just some really nice, I see the grab handles down in here, very fine and crisp. Um, obviously they'll have a seam line over the top and they have to be taken off, but very nice and crisp. And here's our clear parts. The one thing I love about this is, it looks like there's two options in here. There's a clear one and there's the one that's a tinted colour as well. So you've got two sprues in there, clear or the tinted, uh, which is great. It saves you actually having to mix up clear paints and try and get that nice colour. It's already there for you if you want to use those tinted windows, which is a really great option. And they look to be moulded really, really nicely as far as, you know, like we know men kits are normally fairly nice. Um, they're in separate packets, so they haven't scratched. And inside here, there's two packets. They're both in separate packets, so obviously haven't scratched together, which is really great. Oh, here we go. We've got some um, cards from the guys that I bought it from. So, yeah, if, if, if you want to buy stuff from these guys, they've actually given me a heap of cards in there inside the box. Um, yep, again, I don't know what, exactly what parts these are, but nice grills. Again, some beautiful detail on these parts, guys. The whole lot is looking really nice. So what I might do, I'll just sort of go through these parts fairly quick. Um, window housings. Again, got our bolt heads around the window housings and things like that. Looks really, really nice. Um, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a few pieces on here. You can see injector pin mask, but obviously that's going to be on the inside. And I'd say they've got insides to these doors as well. If not, they're going to be something yeah, you're going to have to clean up on the insides of the doors. But other than that, there's no flash or pin mask where they shouldn't be or anything like that. Uh, going down there, now this is where our running wheels and um, go in. This is the housing for our sprockets and things like that. And again, guys, some, the detail moulded in these is just absolutely superb. Very, very nice. All your bulb heads. Again, I'll try and get this to focus up fairly close. Um, not a lot of light where I am, and there's reflection where the light is anyway, but hopefully you can see the detail on those. They're just beautiful, guys. Um, again, I won't worry about a lot of these because they're just, and this is our rippers. Um, looking very nice. I can see inject a pin mark on the top of that one. That'll have to be taken care of because that is external, I know that. That'll have to be taken care of. Um, hydraulic housings are going to have to be put together in two pieces so you'll have a seam line you'll have to clean up but that's typical scale model stuff machine gun here some uh, grid plating again beautiful detail guys the, the, uh, the grid plating with the holes all nice and even there's no flash you've got to clean out of the holes you know some of these horrible kits you get where you've got all these holes but you know some of them have got flashing in them so you've got to 
you know, get in there with a drill and clean them out. These haven't, they're just beautiful and crystal mouldings on those. Again, a few more housing toolboxes. Um, now this looks like it's getting into the interior part, the seats, um, yeah, seat cushions, console buttons, things like that. There's lots of detail on those guys. So you're going to be able to go to town on, on painting these up. Obviously you're going to need some reference. I'd, I'd be jumping on the net looking for some reference photos to the interior because there's so much here to paint on the inside. And I imagine buttons and switches will be all different colours and stuff like that. This one here, we've got a heap of hydraulic housings. That's our hydraulic line there that obviously you're going to cut to size and put on all the hydraulics. Fantastic, they include all that sort of stuff. And down here we've got our idler wheels, main sprockets, things like that. Again, really, really nicely moulded. Uh, I'm just looking at some of the detail inside these sprockets. Just absolutely beautiful, little pin heads, bolt heads, things like that. Really, really nice stuff, guys. And we'll have a quick look under here, see if there's anything mix. And here's our, our blade, which, like we're saying, goes together in quite a few pieces. It's got a back and a front. Um, there's our grills that go onto the back of the top. They were saying in those instructions there before. There's a couple little bits of seam line I can see you're going to have to clean up inside there. That might be a little bit of a chore, but again, it's not bad detail. These, these um, injector pin marks you can see here are going to be covered up because the back of that is going to go over that and you won't see it. I'm not sure in that part, but it's something I have to see when I build it up. Uh, other than that, we got... Oh, should be showing me. Oh yeah, truck links down the bottom here, guys. So the track links obviously are done in two separate pieces. They've got the actual blades, then you've got the sides that, that clip them together. Um, so they look fairly straightforward. I'm just thinking the pins that they they sort of glue onto the sides, they look a little bit longer. They might be a little bit um, flimsy, but it's, it's something you have to see when we actually start putting them together, whether they're going to start breaking off when we try and put them together and whether they're gonna, how workable they're going to be. Uh, there's a few injector pin marks on the insides of these. So I'd say that is something you definitely have to clean up. But those of us who build a lot of armour with um, individual tracks, it's something to get used to because always inject the pin marks on one side of these and you can see that's on the inside, so it's going to have to be cleaned up, I would say. But anyway, guys, as you can see, it's a huge box full of goodies. And like I say, I couldn't go through each individual spirit sprue. We'll be here all day because there's just so much in this box. But everything looks nice and crisp and clean. There's heaps of detail moulded into it. This is one of those builds I'm dying to get into. Uh, but I just want to make sure I've got all the, all the stuff right. And I want to make sure I'm confident to do it. I don't want to mess it up because it's such a beautiful kit. But anyway, guys, thanks very much for watching this video. Again, leave your comments below. Uh, if you want to see any more or know any more about this kit, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video.